Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and welcome back to the show. Today we're going to be reviewing Xenon Valkyrie Plus for the PlayStation 4, which comes out today, as well as the Xbox One version. Plus, this game's already been out on the PlayStation Vita and Steam, so you might have already had a chance to play it. But let's get down into it. What exactly is Xenon Valkyrie Plus? Xenon Valkyrie Plus, to boil it down into simple terms, is a roguelike action platforming game with RPG elements that uses chip tunes as well as pixelated graphics. This is a game that if you're a retro enthusiast, you may enjoy. So we'll go ahead and dive right into it. Now the interesting thing about Xenon Valkyrie Plus is that you have a choice of three different characters and they have their own abilities that they can use. Now each character has a lot of similarities in the way they attack. For example, each character will have a sword type of attack as well as a gun type attack. And the abilities, the way the weapons work are pretty much the same. Uh, where their differences lie though is the starting stats which don't make that much of a difference and their special ability that they get to use. The special ability can help you progress further in the stages and maybe get to areas that certain other characters couldn't. So that's something to keep in mind as you get a taste for the game. You can check out the character that you most favor and then kind of stick with them in order to enhance your play through the game. So in each stage of the game, you have a defined arena that gets randomly generated and it's filled with enemies and treasures and all that good stuff. And the simple goal is to get to the exit of the stage. Now you can of course take advantage of milking the stage as much as possible in order to level up your character more quickly. For example, before the next stage, for every level up that you get, you'll get a talent point that you can spend in order to enhance your character to increase their HP, their strength, their defense, as well as their maximum weapon capacity. These are all things you have to keep in mind whenever you're playing through the game. What kind of upgrades would be best suited for you into the next area? This is especially key if you're low on health because if you don't have the option to get health upgrades, the only thing you can really do is upgrade your HP if you need to get more hit points. So that's something to consider. So you do also get treasure. So in these in-between stages, you can also spend your treasure to buy various things like to buy new ammunition, to buy potions, to restore your health, to get defensive barriers and various other little things like that. There's also some special characters that you can encounter that will give you the opportunity to get special upgrades such as teleporters that will let you skip to later stages earlier on in the game so you don't have to go through the whole thing if you want again. Now bear in mind if you do that this can be quite a challenge because this game is very tough and you'll probably want to take advantage of the level up upgrades as much as you possibly can until you're accustomed to the game. Now after you go through two stages, you counter a boss stage where you fight a randomly generated boss. Now from what I've seen, there's not a huge variety in the boss amounts. This is nothing like Binding of Isaac where you have dozens of bosses literally. It seems like it's a much smaller and more controlled number so it's easy to get used to the boss patterns and not have to worry too much about that. So after you get past the boss stage, You'll go on to the next world, which will introduce a brand new set of challenges, new enemies, new areas to explore, and so on. Now, given the nature that this is a roguelike game, that means that everything that you're going to see in these worlds are randomly generated. You're going to see new locations, new enemy areas, you're going to see treasures in different spots, all kinds of things like that to keep in mind. So this will be the type of game that I recommend if you're looking for a game that offers a lot of replay value. So at only $10, it is a very fair price to pay, but I do have to let you guys know that I was given a review key by Cowcat Games, who handled the porting job for the Xbox One, PS4, and PS Vita versions of the game. Diabolical Mind is the original developer of the Steam game, which is just known as Xenon Valkyrie. I'm not really sure what the plus is for, and I couldn't really find an answer. If this looks like the kind of game you'd like, I definitely recommend checking it out. Xenon Valkyrie is a top-notch roguelike game that does a lot of really interesting things, even if it's not completely an original game. It does seem to mimic other games of that type, but it does so in an expertly done way. It is very well made, and it just feels very fluid in the way that it plays. I also have to point out that I'm a huge fan of both the chiptune music 
as well as the pixel graphics, which were really well done and uh, just fantastic. So let's go on because this game is a cross-buy title. That means I also got it for PlayStation Vita. So let's take a look at the PlayStation Vita review. It's the same game, except on the PlayStation Vita. So that means it's great. And it's also on the PlayStation Vita, which also makes it great. So play some Xeon Valkyrie Plus anywhere you want to go. Check out that game on the Vita screen. It looks great. It looks fantastic, people. So, yeah, that's my review of the PS Vita version. It's just great like the PS4 version. And there you have it, guys. That was Xenon Valkyrie Plus. Fantastic game. I highly recommend it. This game gets a 9 out of 10. This is a top-notch indie game that I highly recommend if you are a fan of roguelike games. I guarantee you won't be disappointed if this is the type of game you're interested in, which of course, obviously, if you're not interested in it, maybe you will be disappointed. But nonetheless, it is a top-notch game and I had a lot of fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review for Xenon Valkyrie Plus. Don't forget to like, share, and comment if you really enjoyed this video. And if not, you can dislike it, whatever. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. But till then, down Phoenix out.